take you on a journey of dreams and childlike wonder as you explore three locations very close to Mr. Dior's heart. These locations help shape the house as we know it today. A few house rules before we go in. Although you may be very tempting, please do not touch or eat anything you see inside the exhibition, as tempting as it may be. Again, thank you so much and welcome to the fabulous world of the York. No worries at all. Maybe just follow my colleague. He has Christian joining himself. Welcome to the view down below inside. If you want to follow me this way, it's the best way to experience the journey. Keep your eyes peeled as you go around your amazing thing. There's normally something happening behind every single window. So this first location is called 30 Avenue Montaigne. This is Christian Dior's first ever boutique in Paris, which is still there to this day. Around, we'll go inside. It's just around the corner. As we go around, you'll notice these amazing Christmas trees with the eight-pointed star from Dior on top. And if you look closely, it's not snow, it's actually buttons. We've got our gingerbread people working on a Je Dior shoe right now. The story goes that Christian Dior came across a star on the floor on the streets of Paris and he knew from that moment, he was very superstitious, and he knew from that moment he had to go and make his own boutique and it had to be here at 30 Avenue Montaigne. Dress right now. Everyone used to clamber onto the stairs so they could get a view of the latest Christian Dior. As you can see at the top, this dress is very elaborate on the back. There is a story. If they ever had royalty, she said, seven, she said, please turn around. She allowed them to turn around because she wanted to do the lavish dress on the back and she fell in love with this particular dress. With all of the busts and the different clients made to be the exact size and shape of their bodies so that clothes could be made to measure and fit perfectly. Haute Couture is still available today in Paris at 30 Avenue, Montaigne. Creative director. And the story continues. It had to be 30 Avenue, Montaigne. I was going to settle here and nowhere else. Just around the corner, you'll find Christian Dior in his office, dreaming up some amazing designs. Next door to the office, we have a fairy turning this candy into a bar jacket. The bar jacket is from the 1947 collection, which was branded the new look, bringing back femininity to women's wear post-war. With the amazing eight silhouette that Christian Dior is known for, with the widened shoulders, padded hips, and the cinched waist. And I think many of you will recognize the Lady Dior bag on the left, in the miniature version. This actually used to be called the Choo Choo Bag and was renamed Lady Dior after Lady Diana because she loved it so much, she had it in every colour. As I mentioned earlier, Christian Dior was very mothered in kisses at the end of a catwalk or a collection. He knew he had done a good job. It's lavish and beautiful flower garden. So here we have the dance of the flowers, with the rose, of course, being the centerpiece, the prima ballerina. And notice the private collection of fragrances displayed within the house here. Le Col Noir, named after the house, on prime spot at the top. The florals from the gardens of Le Col Noir are used within these fragrances even today. Moving on through, you'll notice coming around in gingerbread and then magically turning into a perfume bottle then we'll bail on the stairs for the sixth floor. Before leaving this house, make sure you catch this last final room. <laughs> child at home. Here he is in bed dreaming up the illustrious bar jacket that we talked about earlier and of course with Bobby the dog. <laughs> a 
As we move on through, do not miss this scene down below. Next to the house is the illustrious garden of Brumville. Curated and designed by the later on in life. He is also, of course, once again, the star motif hanging from the tree. So there's going to be a firework display on the screen to response the entrance of the exhibition. Thank you so, so much for coming. was about a year, just oh, over a year and a half. Oh.